Hey guys, Andy, distantreplays.com, 888-241-8807. And got some good news, uh, red jacket shirts. Uh, in the past, they've always run really small. And it's been, you know, we even say on our site, these shirts run small. Well, I am wearing an actual 2XL San Diego Padres remote control shirt from Red Jacket. They're $35. And this is 2X. I'm 6'1", 240. I'm big and fat, and it fits me perfectly with room to spare. So, these are some of the new ones that just came in. Chicago White Sox with the old uh, 1919 logo. And this is kind of sewn on the side, embroidered, so it's um, really cool. Uh, 1975 Red Sox. It's a t-shirt jersey, if you will. You know what I mean, Ira? Yeah. Looks like the one What's significant wore. about this? That's the Ma Commonwealth of Massachusetts Bicentennial, 1975. Whose last season was this on the Red Sox? That's the 75 World Series. Yeah, yeah. but who was some guy played his last year, a significant Red Sox player. Come on. Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski played to 83. So I'm wrong. <laughs> that's why Iris here. I didn't know that. I thought that was his last season. It was his last World Series. Ah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Pittsburgh Pirates. Look at that scary sewn on skeleton. Okay. Chicago Cubs. This is uh, a take on the uh, 1978 jersey that had the pinstripes. A little sewn on cubby bear. And again, these fit perfectly. Astros, the shooting star, a la Joe Morgan. Early 70s. Early 70s. Did Nolan Ryan ever? I don't think he... He didn't wear this one. No. He didn't come to Houston to Lady. Yeah. Oh, you know what I just noticed? This one is like the upside-down uh, uh, biplane stamp. The patch is upside-down. Yep. Look at that. Worth more money. We examine these closely before we ship them out. The Twins... And uh, what about this patch here, Ira, with the guy shaking hands? You notice one of them has M on there for Minneapolis. The yeah. other one has STP for St. Paul. And you, Although you, it looks like a crick. That's the uh, crick. Mississippi River there. Uh-huh. Okay. So the Mississippi River. And then the 86 Mets pullover. Nothing on the sleeve on this one, but um, still a very cool piece. Let's go up to the front of the store. Can you track us, sir? We're going all the way up to show these new tailgate college tees. You don't see these around very much anymore. Oklahoma A&M, and that is what? That's now Oklahoma State. Uh -huh. They won. The, they became the first school to win the NCAA basketball tournament back to back in '45 and '46. They were A&M. Hank Ivo was their coach. Wow, back to back NCAA tournaments. That Bob Curlin, very often. Seven footers in basketball. This is one of my favorites. Villanova. Wildcats, so you have the letters and it turns into the mascot. That's extremely cool. Who was the coach when they won the, the tournament? Molly Massimino. Molly Massimino. We've seen this beautiful Naval Academy one before. Oh, here's a new one for University of Pittsburgh. Golden Panthers. Okay, so yeah, go ahead. a lot of tradition. Shame they broke off the rivalry with Penn State. That was a great one. But what, what they was got the purpose of that? Why well, Penn that? State went to the Big Ten and wouldn't play them anymore. So uh -huh. now their big rivalry is West Virginia, the back, uh, backyard brawl, they call it. <laughs> okay. Do you think this is referring to one of Bobby Knight's teams, or is this even before that? It could Indiana? be, but you know, they also had a sw strong swimming team back in the early 70s. They won like three or four national titles. Okay. So, so we'll call this the Indiana number one swimming t-shirt by Tailgate. These are all $36. Uh, we're still in the um, state of Pennsylvania. Temple Owls. Uh-huh. Yeah. They Real do anything... Coffee. Bill Cosby went to yeah. Tampa. Okay. Uh, they're doing a little better football this year, too. <laughs> There's a new uh, Arizona Wildcats. Didn't they just upset somebody? Or did they knock off? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. It's a pretty good team. All right. So those are a bunch of new tailgate shirts, which are incredibly awesome. Then we've got some new jackets from G3. These are always popular every year. Celtics are on fire right now. Thought they would run the table. They didn't. But... Uh, this has got some of their past championships. Perhaps they'll uh, add one this year. But, um, you know, these are a nice satin lining, wool body with leather sleeves. We've got the Celtics. We've got the Steelers. we got the L.A. Lakers. Redskins. Cowboys over here. New York Giants. Alabama, 
So those are some of the great new products that we have. Uh, just check them out on distantreplays.com. Give us a call. As for me, Andy, as for Ira. Last thing, Cincinnati, what's up with that? The Bearcats, yeah, they're, they're doing pretty well assured football. They uh -huh. won two national titles in basketball, 61 and 62. Uh, if you got any sports trivia you want to ask us, call and ask Ira. He'll answer for you.